Hello friends, welcome back to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C++ programming. In our previous tutorial, we learned about functions. We learned there what is function, how to call a function, what is prototyping, etc. But in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to passing parameter to a function and how to return a value from a function. To get it more clearly, let's see a programming example. Here we write a function that add two numbers and we pass these two numbers as a parameter. So I am going to write here void which indicate that the function is not going to return any value. Then the function name that is add and then within the parentheses we need to write the parameters. Here we take two integer type parameters. So I am going to write here int x and int y. One thing must be noted, each of the parameters separated by a comma. Next I am going to give here a curly basis and within the curly basis we have to write the function body. Inside the curly basis I am going to declare another integer type variable int answer. Here we add two numbers so I am going to write here answer equal to x plus y. Then we print the result to the screen. So I am going to write here C out. Answer is and here we refer answer. And then end of line. The next thing that we need to do call this function from main. So I am going to write here add and within the parenthesis we need to pass two parameters. Here we pass two integer values so I am going to write here 10 and 20. The last thing that we need to do write the prototyping. So I am going to write here void add and within the parenthesis we have to specify the type of values passing to a function. Here we pass two integer type values, so I am going to write here int, comma, int. This statement indicates that the function add is not going to return any value and it takes two integer type parameters. Let's check the output, build and run. As you can see here, it print answer is 30. Because when we call this function add, then 10 is copied to x and 20 is copied to y. So now x content 10 and y content 20. Then we perform the operation x plus y. So 10 plus 20 is 30. That's why it print answer is 30. Next we see how we can return a value from a function. If our program is return any value, then we need to specify it in our function prototype. You can see here the function main return an integer value and here we return 0. Because computer program knows when it get back 0, that means computer program is run successfully. If the function add return an integer value, then we have to specify here int. For float value, we have to specify here float. But in this case, we return an integer value. So I am going to write here int. Here also. From this function, we return some value. So I am going to delete this statement and write here the keyword return and then whatever the value you want to return. Here we want to return the value of answer. So I am going to write here answer. Inside the main function we print the value of answer. So I am going to write here C out. Answer is Let's check the output, build and run. You can see here it print answer is 30. I think you are a little bit confused about this statement. Here we use the cout statement to print the value whatever is written by the function add. If we don't use this part, then the function add will just calculate the value. Do not print it to the screen. I am going to delete this part and now check the output build and run. 
you can see here no output is printed to print the answer we have to use here cout statement the next thing is here we pass only two parameters but you can pass any number of parameters 3 4 10 100 or as many you want each of the parameters is separated by a comma I am going to pass here another integer type parameter so write here int here I am going to write 30 here int z and then here plus z let's check the output build and run answer is 60 because 10 plus 20 plus 30 is 60 that's it hope you understand if you have any doubt please comment on the video thanks for watching to watch more videos please subscribe this channel slide hunt you can like my facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt and you can follow me on google plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt